People are not upset about influencers with very large followings not saying anything when it comes to Palestine and encouraging their followers to call their representatives to demand a ceasefire, to say something just simply because they have a large following and they could have a large influence over that following. While yes, that is a thing, but the biggest issue, the crux that so many people I'm seeing are missing is that the people who are especially getting hounded in their comments and in their DMs from followers and non-followers alike are people, especially people with a lot of privileged identities, who have made social justice and standing up for the oppressed and speaking out against white supremacy as a huge part of their brand, of what they were selling to us in order to follow them, in order to listen to them, in order to buy the products because we admired what we saw as their integrity and their values, which resonated with our own. A pretty universal human trait across cultures I'm willing to stand by is that people don't like hypocrites. We don't like hypocrites. We don't like people who say strongly, strongly that they stand for certain values, for certain causes, and then when it finally becomes time for them to show that they really are what they are saying they are, it is very clear that they are not, and it is very clear that they are a hypocrite. And people naturally respond to that. Is everyone responding to that constructively? No, but at the heart of the matter is not people calling out influencers or calling out people with large audiences for not speaking out just because they happen to have a large audience. While that would be amazing, and there are a number of people who have done so, out, stepped outside of their niche in order to speak up for Palestine, and those people are exceptional human beings. They have exceptional integrity and we should admire them. I'm following people that I'm not particularly interested in their niche of content that they normally do, but I'm following them simply because I want to support those kinds of creators and especially because they are losing business, they are losing deals, they're losing their livelihood to some more or lesser extent by standing up for Palestine. So I want to do what I can in some tiny small way to help them and support them. But if you are someone who makes it a part of your brand that you stand up for social justice and you see it as your responsibility, how dare you not? How dare you not speak up against oppression when you have an audience, when you have people's ear and the time comes for you to really show that you stand by with your actions even when there are things at risk for you personally and professionally and you are just blaringly obvious the hypocrite, that's what gets people talking. That's what gets people's attention. And again, not being unconstructive and hateful. No, of course, that is not ever going to be okay. I don't support that, all the things. But it's definitely going to get people's attention and people will, especially if they're fans of these people and they believed in them. I know for myself in other ways, not necessarily influencers that I follow. I try not to follow too many influencers, honestly, but other people in social justice and diversity, equity and inclusion work, that is the field that I work in. I've There have been so many people who have broken my heart because they say that they stand for social justice. And then when it came to Muslims, Palestinians, Arabs, the Middle East, what have you, all of a sudden, it's just they can't be bothered or something. If influencers or anyone do not want to be held accountable for the things that they say, don't say those things. I just, I can't help you if you say the things and you don't mean them. And then you're like, how dare you hold me accountable for the things that I said of my own free will.